Hi friends, we'll learn about message wizard. Many times within our application, we want to communicate to the user what is going on, what's an error message is there without taking any inputs from the user. Let's say take this example of this form where the user was to enter its name. So once the name is entered, we give you a welcome message. Then the type of food based on the what user has selected, we will give more information on the food item. And similarly, at the end, when the order is placed, we also give a thanks message to the user. Now these all messages, we use the message user to communicate. So we'll learn more about this. But before we move, my request is please, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. So you'll be notified about about our videos we frequently doing that let's start the script now we'll start from here so this is our uh, blank window kinter then we are geometry we have placed it 620 by 300 width and height a title and the main loop here to hold our program so let's place a simple message box here to understand how it looks and uh, for that I am just giving a higher font font one so a list I am giving first font family Sorry. Font family, then I am giving a size, higher size, then I am giving the style. I am using normal. You can use italic, bold, or anything you want. So today's we'll place a, our message one. So message box, what you are going to use, not box, message tk dot message. Now it is my parent window, my underscore w. This is what you are declared at line number two. Then the text, what message it will display. So welcome to plus two net tick enter section. So intentionally I'm using a longer sentence because automatically it will take care of line breaks and that is the most important and it is the difference between a label and a uh, message. So this takes care of the line break. Now let's add something more to it. So what is the font we are using? So font one. This is what I will be using. Then slightly background color will change it, make it prominent, light green. You can use any other color or uh, hex code also you can use it. Aspect, this is the ratio of the width to height. So that we are maintaining at 200. By default value is 150. So width is bigger than the uh, height. So this is where it is. Now let me just place it on a grid. So ms1.grid. So row equal to one and column equal to one. First one slightly I'm putting a left edge 40. So I'm not flushing with the left edge pad. Why I'm giving 15 from the top. I'm giving a gap. Let me. Yeah. So let's just see this how this looks. Here it is. This is our application where we have some input box, one name input, one radio button for selection and a final button. Now to this, we'll add our message uh, so you can user can know what for, which input is for what. So let's just run it once and see what it is looks. So here it is. This is the application. So name, we are expected to enter the name here. Then whatever the food items we want to select, this is the radio button. So then, and we place the final order. So all these inputs will uh, link it with a message box. We'll display it here. So this message will tell us what for this input is or some matching information, which can be changed. So the message inside will be keep on changing. We'll see all about that. Let's put the message box first. So what you will do for message box, we will create a string variable. So that variable will be updating it. So what I am creating is my str. This is a string variable I will create tk dot uh, string var. So we should will place some initial value. So we'll write it message here. So this will be our default message. Below that we'll create our a message so message one equal to tk dot as a g message now parent window my underscore w now what text variable text variable will connect to this uh, string variable what you have created now my str so fine now font equal to font one so this is the higher font size we are using bz equal to light green you can use any color whatever you want now width equal to 200 and aspect we are keeping it as 250 you can change these values and see how it behaves fine now let's place it on our grid msg1.grid 
see the all the inputs were row one row two row three like that so right of it with a or covering all the rows we will place it so for that we are saying row equal to one top row we are aligning aligning it then column equal to four rightmost because three columns we have already used the label and input two radio buttons are there so two columns we have taken now pad x so pad x equal to now what you will say is pad x 10 so slightly we are flush, not flushing with the left edge of the inputs so we are keeping a gap of 10 and pad y pad y let's keep a gap also because top uh, uh, input form also kept a gap of 40 so matching to that we have kept it now here row span we are using row span equal to 3 so it, it expands the all the rows so row span equal to 3 now if you want to see this also it is here so this two now let's see the saved it let's run it and see the default message here it is so message is here but it should go to the top because it should start from here span all the thing so what you are going to do is we'll, we'll say a sticky here we'll say equal to n s e w north south east and west so let's just see how this one now it has covered the entire whatever the available space but what will be the problem is this will uh, size will change also whenever we the matching to that one for that also we'll see how we'll adjust that this string variable my str which is connected to this text variable here to the message box will keep on changing based on the various events of the input box so that way the message will keep on changing so for that purpose we'll create some events now let's just start with a uh, first the radio button you can see here my var here this is a radio button which uh, this uh, int variable integer variable is connected to the radio button so this value we can monitor and accordingly change the our input so for that we'll say my var because it's a int variable so we can use trace method trace add so when this will trigger this will be when you give a right so whenever this value changes this will trigger my food my food is the function which i have to create now my food is the function that will be created and the text will be changed so let's just create that my food so let me just move up a bit and here i will create define my food now i will be receiving all the arguments so uh, it's a event so a r g s so all the arguments i will be receiving here inside this what i will see if my var my var is the integer variable so it will have number two its value will be two or one based on what ways or non ways you can just see here you can see the its uh, uh, selector indicator value is one for if you are selecting the non ways and value is two if you are selecting the ways items so if my var dot get equal to because this is i am comparing it with that equal to two in this case what i am going to say is my str this is the string variable which is connected to the our message below that where is the yeah here it is so this is connected to the our message here so this message will keep on will change it now my str because it's a string variable set method i am using and inside that i am writing it we have excellent wedge item so i am intentionally writing a longer so we'll understand that how it takes care of the line breaks else that means the wedge is created it is uh, non wedge is selected so for that i am writing another string my str set so one of this whenever a radio button is selected or, or changed to another one this one of this message will come our chicken pizza or you can write anything is the best you can write whatever you want so this part is over now let me just come here okay fine now what happened there is one more method uh, because the input box if you see that there is a name is there to be entered so for that i had to write the event so that is the entry box one here it is let me just see here it is the entry box where the name will be before that the label name is there so that entry box whenever user clicks that or in focus i want to give a message so for that e1 dot bind i'm giving a message again inside this 
sorry outside here i have to put the quotes here it is focus in when the verb mau or i click inside that one what i am going to do here i am writing it one liner here itself lambda one my str this is the string variable dot set i am saying your name so this will directly one line i am writing lambda so the string variable i am setting it string variable is the text box here it is so that i am sending now once the focus is out of it i also want to change the message i just copied that pasting it here so focus in place of focus in i will write focus out once the mouse moves out of it i will say something else i am saying welcome so this is the message what will be displayed once the focus is out of it these are fine now there is a button which finally placed the order for me so now what happens once the button is clicked i must give a thank you message because data is stored that means okay the back end back end work i am not doing now so i am saying command equal to this is the when the user clicks the button to place the finally place the order my again same thing my str dot set i am saying thanks data is stored so fine this is all fine but you will see one issue will come up we'll try to solve that also so fine now let we can go for a check whatever is coming now let's run this fine it is here so i am just clicking it here your name now i will write something here writing or let me write plus to net i moved the mouse out so welcome message now non veg see our chicken pizza is the best here it it picks up from here veg we have excellent veg item if i'll click this it will say thanks data is stored again if i'll come here fine so you can see based on whatever the this these are the event 37 that these are the events what is triggering based on the input where it is and again this is the function where it is uh, where the uh, if suppose base non veg i am selecting then this function is setting we have excellent veg item our chicken chicken pizza is the best everything whatever i can keep on changing this this line is taking care of that but coming down further one thing you can observe here see the this age is fluctuating this age even though it stretches to nsew north south east west but still some available stretches how i will control that let's see here in the because this is a grid layout i have one option to give maximum weightage to the rightmost column you can see here this is the column number 4 so what i am going to do is coming to the top here i am my underscore w column configure and if you are using a different layout say pack and all your fill both all those things you have to try you can try that one if you are facing any problem leave it in the comment section i am just showing you how it can be done in a grid layout just similar things are already available weight equal to when i am giving maximum weight to this column 4 so saving is this now let's run now this has full taken the entire available space so your name i am writing plus to net non veg okay veg fine order fine so it is taking the entire space and displaying the data that's all friends hope you have a good learning experience and if you have any doubt suggestion questions use the comment section below to post it and my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we are adding new new tutorials and we are frequently doing that also Please share this video with your friends and thank you for watching.